Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona's Place Trails of Cold Steel 2. Today we are going around the ship and I'm just talking to everyone to make sure I'm not missing anything. But apparently uh, Ferris here has a little cutscene. I was talking to Elisa last night and we decided that if we both return from this operation safely, we're going to hold a big party at the academy. Every student needs to be invited of course, regardless of class. The faculty too. <laughs> that sounds like it'd be one heck of a party. Didn't we just have a party? But saying if makes it sound like we're you're not planning on returning from this operation safely. I I suppose you're right. And let me rephrase. When we inevitably return safely after this operation, we're inevitably throwing a massive party. They do say success stems from the mind, after all. <laughs> Perfect. She's gotten tougher since I first met her. I'm sure spending time with Elise is to thank for that. There's a lot of preparation that needs to be made for a party like that to happen. Food, for instance. Could be an issue. Even uh, Serefia and Celestine were to work together, they would only they only know so many recipes. If only there was a book full of them that I could somehow get my hands on. Okay, maybe let's scale it back a little. Didn't necessarily need to have to think of uh, the specifics until we until after the operation. Oh yes, I suppose you're right. After all, I should focus my mind and energy at the task again. We will we will make this an operation of resounding success. Don't isn't my recipe book full? But it might not hurt to keep the fact that she's looking for a ton of recipes in the back of my mind. If I could gather up a bunch of good ones for her... Oh, you're... There's probably the secondary ones as well. Is that right? Yeah, because I have... All of them, but I haven't... Cooked all varieties. Which is probably something I'm gonna be doing. Probably, if I have enough for it anyways. Oh, hi, George. Hey there, busy getting ready? There's not much time left until the operation begins, so if there's anything you need to do, do it now. Well, one thing I need is to make sure my equipment and arcs are in top condition. There's no, not a doubt in my mind that Crow and the Azure Knight will be there, so I can't go unprepared. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised that if they were. Alright, sounds like a plan, Reen. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you with. Uh, it's a shame that there isn't any Zemiri or left. Ah, oh, that's where you're wrong, George! I could have made good use of it. How so? Well, remember how I was using it to customize weapons earlier this year? Uh, that was the most I could do at the time. But making Valimar's new Tachi gave me tons of practice on handling Zemirian ore. So at this point, I'm confident I could do more than customize an existing weapon. I could make a new one from scratch. Really? That sounds amazing. The more powerful weapons we have, the better. Unfortunately, though, we used all the ore we brought back, and I do mean all of it. I don't even have the teeniest fraction left to play with anymore. If you had any, even a few small fragments that I could put together, I'd be able to do it, but as things stand... Actually, I do have some on me. I've been holding out on you, jo George. You do? Awesome! Well, as soon as you decided what you want me to make with it, let me know. I'll be waiting here. It's valuable stuff, though, so make sure you to think long and hard about what you want to use it on. Uh... Reen? Seeing how I always have my party? I mean, don't get me wrong, Laura would be fantastic for it, too. Uh, and Fee and Sarah. That that that's about it. So if I can get four pieces of Marion ore, oh honestly, I probably can't get four pieces of Marion ore. I, what is it? You usually, only get like two in the Trails games, right? Like at most, you can get two. I think I only usually ever get one piece. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm, I'm definitely gonna get one for Reen. One, main character. Two, he's kind of strong as well. Like, especially when you go into his Super Saiyan mode. So, and we haven't even chested out his new, uh, S-Break yet, so I'm assuming that's gonna be freaking fantastic. Uh, Zumerian Ore. 10% crit, huh? Okay, let's see here. Causes faint 10%. Yeah. Oh, Million would be good too. She's really strong as well. Lady and Hearts, Thunder and Lightning. What a name. <laughs> um. It is vastly stronger, that's for sure. I am going to go ahead and get one for Reen, though. And we need four Zerarian ore shards to make another one. So yeah, let's do it for Reen. 
Uh, forging the future. Is that Duvali? It's adorable. Uh, so yeah, put this on. Where did these come from? What the hell are these? Are these swords I had equipped that I just never saw? In my inventory? That's weird. That's super weird. Hey, do you have attack fours available? You gonna think that they're not in this game? Yeah, okay. Which is a shame, because I would like attack force. All right, let's go ahead and return to Trista. No, we're not doing the quest. It's great to finally have everyone on board the uh, on board uh, from the academy on board the courageous. Everyone who went missing, everyone who stay chose to stay at the academy, they're all here and ready to fight with us. <laughs> it's kind of surreal. We really did go and achieve exactly what we set out to do, huh? Yeah, I know the feeling. We took back the academy. Valdemar's new Tachi has been formed. Nothing stopping us from giving this operation our all, except for the side quests. That being said, it feels a little wrong to say we have everyone when there's one of us missing. I didn't even think about that. Sure, it's it's lively enough as uh, here as it is, but Crow has a special energy no one else can bring. But just remember, him not being here yet doesn't make what you've done any less amazing. So thank you, Reed. I can't imagine all of us would be here now if not for you. I think you're giving me too much credit there. Coming this far as a team, uh, coming this far was a team effort. I may be part of that team, but so are you and everyone else. <laughs> oh, Reen, I should have known you'd say that. Yep, I think if anyone deserves this little thing, it's a little something, it's you. Reen, would you be willing to accept this? Oh, emblem! Oh, I like that one. I don't know who I would put it on, but it does just give me, like, triple advantage by running into enemies. A Master Quartz? That's right, the principal gave it to me. He said to give it to a student who goes above and beyond the Call of Duty. So that's exactly what I've done. I can't think of anyone else who deserves it more than you. I don't I don't know if, I, if I've gone above and beyond, but if you say I deserve it, then I'll have to accept. We can't quit here, not when we're so close. Soon we'll be able to bring Crow home, and only then will we really be able to say we have everyone on board. Right! Sarah's just standing there like, I'm here too! I'm not drunk or anything, I'm just standing here. All right, so we're not doing the main story right now, nor are we dragging Crow back. We're going to go do side quests. Uh, choose a destination, and we're going to go to probably Trista first. I got to talk to everyone there. I think, I'm, oh, we got to go to the roads. Yeah, East Trista Highway. Where do you want to go? Oh, can we not go to the road over there? Oh, interesting. Okay. That's kind of surprising. But then again, I guess that makes kind of sense because, like, we haven't actually liberated the place yet. So, uh, so yeah, I guess I'm going to go fishing. But also, I'm probably going to go talk to everyone here. There's no side quest here, is there? Oh, Elfin's on the rooftop of the school. You know what? I haven't talked to Elfin yet. I kind of forgot that she... Oh, Van Dyke's here too. Hi, dog. Oh, uh, Gilly was a sporting of his. Okay. I mean, sure. Yeah, yeah, you're actually coming with us this time, Sarah, right? How about you, Elfin? It feels as though everyone aboard the crate is a lot more positive these days, don't you think? It's as if we're united in all efforts, and there's a sense of trust and warm regard around every corner. <laughs> and I think I know who we who we have to thank for that, too. You! Yeah, this is true. You're always looking out for us, Reen. Learning more about us, listening to our worries, trying to help us any way you can. Without you, I don't know if everyone would be as close to one another as they are now. I'm happy you feel that way, but I think you're giving me too much credit. I mean, she's not. We're the JRPG protagonists. If anything, it's everyone here who's always been looking out for me. Whatever I've done, they've done just as much for me, if not more. Oh, I don't doubt all, of, all they've done for you. Regardless, I still believe you deserve to have this. A Medal of Love. What's this? It's called the Medal of Love. It's to be bestowed upon one who shows great compassion and consideration to others. I mean to accept it as proof of the strong bonds you formed with the other members of the Academy. Proof of our bonds, huh? I like the sound of that. I'd be more than honored to accept it. 
I just wish we were we could form a deeper bond too. Ah, 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 ah! Huh? Did you say something? Tee hee! Oh no, not at all. That's kind of sad. Maybe in the future. I don't know though. Actually, why aren't you on the ship? Yeah. Because you made it sound like you're still on the ship, but you're not on the ship. She's not on the ship. That's why I didn't talk to her yet. Can we go to the old schoolhouse? The answer's no. All right, well, I'm going to check out the accessory. Oh, we have a Thor's armband on. What the hell? Oh, is that what they were talking about? Black... F oh, it's Joshua's outfit. Oh! Oh! I didn't even notice this was on us! I noticed it was on... Oh, what? You don't have one? You know, get on there. I noticed it was on, like, the NPCs, but I totally did not even notice it was on us. Huh. Neat! I was actually going there to check the accessory. That's true. Uh, marble bracelet. Okay. Not the one I was looking for. Medal of Love. It's a very defensive... Uh... Accessory. That's good. It's not bad. All right, well, I'm going to go talk to everyone. Oh, the father wants to talk to us. The battle in Heimdall is scheduled to begin soon, is it not? Hmm, I hope he doesn't wind up in the middle of it. Uh, is something wrong, father? Oh, hello. I hate to put anything uh, more onto your sh young shoulders, but you may be able to help. Would you lend me your aid? I don't mean to pressure you, of course. I imagine your mind is already occupied with more pressing matters. Uh, sure. Uh, sure, we're free to until noon for obvious reasons. What do you need? Thank you so much. My request begins another fellow clergyman. A traveling priest who visited us this morning, actually. A priest travel? Some of them, they are sent to uh, places without churches to fill various religious duties there. That's right. Ever since the war began, the church has been dispatching even more of them across Erebonia. It is our duty to support people in need, and traveling priests can do so in areas those like myself cannot. This priest, however, only made the briefest of stops here, saying he wanted to learn more about the state of the country. He left? Already? That is rather worrisome. There is no telling what the fallout of the Battle of Heimdall could lead to. The fact that he was an elderly gentleman only serves to compound my interests, uh, my concern as well. If you could, would you mind checking to see whether or not he arrived safely at his destination? I think we can do that, especially since the Courageous saves us so much time. I don't know if we'd be able to, it'd be able to if we were ta taking the trains. Guess this job was made for us. Agreed. Let's see if we can get any updates on this old man's safety. So now that that's settled, where exactly did he go, Father? He said he was bound for the church in Celtic. He sounded very upset about what had happened there. I can only imagine he wanted to see the damage for himself. Understood. Okay, gang. Next up, Celtic. Thank you for doing this for me. It's very much appreciated. Oh, no problem. It's a quest, after all. I'm assuming that was a hidden quest and we didn't have that already, because I didn't see a green exclamation point. Yeah, okay, absentee father. Sure, and we got a couple of kill- actually, we got only kill quests for this. And we gotta go back to your mayor at some point as well. There's not that many people around. Uh, apparently a lot of them have evacuated. Well, at least in Trista, there are- well, okay, the Academy is obviously, they're all on the ship, but... I don't know, maybe they're all inside then? I don't know, because one of the kids is- didn't you hear? She was talking to the receptionist, was like, I don't know if it was his sister or his mother, but I was like, what are you doing here? You gotta get home. And she's like, what are you doing here? You're supposed to stay at home too. And I thought they were mentioning an evacuation, but a hashtag could be wrong. Sorry, Smitty, I didn't mean to cut off the first thing we just said to you, but think of it as a period of reflection on my large-scale project in some time. I don't know what Reen said, because I, I actually talked to him and I accidentally pressed the button when I was starting my stopwatch. So it will prove to be a real challenge to work with, but I found the experience valuable all the same. Huh, thank you so much? That's true. The blade never would have been completed without you. Once this war's over, we'll be sure to come thank you properly for everything you've done for us. I don't want your thanks. I don't care about how you use the finished product, or even what happens to this nation because of it. All I want for you is data on its usage. Good data. <laughs> God, this he's as friendly as ever. As sexy as the whole middle age craftsman thing can be, I think I'll have to hard pass on this one. Yeah, seeing how this one's not even middle aged. This one is just... old. There's no middle age there, Sarah. Like... Freaking, what's his name? Victor? Vincent? 
Viscount Arsane. Uh, yeah, middle age, sure there. He at least looks like he could be young. He old. Smitty? Smitty old. Like old. Just straight up old. That's not middle age. This is old. Oh, hello, uh, Michael. Uh, it's you guys. <laughs> you have the best timing. You're here to do an interview with us, right? Tell us, me, tell me, kid. How do you feel about this battle today? Wait, can we do this live? Uh, let's ease down a little. It's good to see you again, but I don't think any of us are here for an interview. I am. Right, sorry, I got carried away eh, there. Uh, thing is, we're planning on broadcasting today's battle live, so it's just a tad bit tense here. Especially since I just sent out the guys who will be doing the broadcasting. So I've heard. Are you sure you're going to be okay doing this? This is shaping up to be a war's most the war's most dangerous battle to date. I just hope the crew there won't be hurt. You think I don't know that? They'll be fine. I've told them to get out of there if things start getting ugly. But we want our listeners to know the battle's happening and just what that means to this nation. Under the Alliance's broadcast restrictions, we were forced to distort the truth night after night. But that's got a lot of people thinking the Alliance is in the right. That's our fault, and we gotta fix all that. This is our chance to use our powers for good. To try and make people realize the truth of what we've been covering up. Who knows, today's broadcast might even be able to turn the tide of this war. So, we, we've got to do this. If anything, if nothing else, then to atone for lying to our listeners all this time. You really put a lot of thought into this, Michael, but you should really cut back on the caffeine. Well, you kids can't be the only ones going out there and risking their lives, right? Uh, we got to put in some work, too. I'm going to make this broadcast a success if it kills me. So, you damn well better do the same with this operation of yours. Uh, um, okay. I actually thought you were going to be like a hidden quest, but sure. Or at least you were gonna have like an interview with us. Kinda sad that you didn't. All right, that should be it. And one of the kids in here, well, the only kid in there said that they're taking shelter at the church, so they're not actually actually evacuating the town. They're just going to the church. Um, right, so we need to go to Keldick for the father, but we're also just gonna explore East Trista Highway for now um, and see what we missed. Hold up. Okay, detection still activated. Good. I got a little like, you know, come on now. Are you new? Yes. Yes, you are. I don't know. You're Here like a frog with a Chemical leaf on you. Okay. Kind of cute, really. Oh, overdrive's up. Now. Got you. And they might be delayed. My oh, turn. they're delayed. Do I want to use my S-Break? That would be kind of a waste. Burn. So if we get into, like, a back encounter or something, I'll That's do it that. then. Let's keep moving. we get a couple level ups. Did <laughs> I did kind of want to upgrade my slots, but I'm really low on the fire receptive, so it ain't happening. we got two new enemies over there. We got a fat bat, which is just hilarious. How do you even fly? How do you okay. even fly? It doesn't make any sense. My turn. That's a lot of damage. I mean, I do have a like the best, I guess, weapon for Reen, the Sumerian weapon. So, still, and he has, he has domination. Really, this is not. We'll have to fight our way through. Huh. My turn. I thought for sure this was gonna be one of those like, oh, I'm not sure if we're Burn strong trash. enough to fight these guys, which makes Whoa. no sense really. Now. You're Almost up on another overdrive. Kind of wish we could get a third one of these. Okay. That would be broken, Kronos. Yeah, I know. That'd be great. Could rush him to kill them, but whatever. Laura can finish the other one off. My turn. There you go. We should keep going. No level ups. Didn't even see how much experience it was, because I skipped it. Because I'm a silly nilly. Oh, thank you for the Septith. I, I need it. Oh, and that way is a dead end. Oh, this way is a dead end too. I didn't even know we, I didn't even notice we went up on a incline there. There's another new enemy. Ooh, there's a Hydra. Let's go kill this guy. This is gonna be one of those battles like, oh, I don't know if we're strong, strong enough. Bar. Yeah. A worthy adversary. Are they worthy, though? I don't know if they are. One, two. Hmm. Got it. 
Yeah, burst. I was gonna say, do I want to waste it? Is it a waste when you get so much of it so quickly? No. Let's move. These poor guys actually stand no chance. Yeah, I mean the unbalancing in this game is so frequent, isn't it? I'm not, that's not a bad thing. It makes you use it a little bit more, that's for sure. I mean, in the first game, I kind of always saved it. You did not kill them. Okay, thank you, Laura. Didn't want to say you couldn't get the job done, Emma, because you know it's not an art. Certainly. Decent experience. Done. Oh, what could it be? It is Altair Cannon. Altair Cannon? Isn't there a game? There's gotta be. There's a game called everything. Let's head down here. This should be the one that we got like halfway on. Yeah. Oh, so there was already a fishing spot here. Ooh, battle chest. Hey, guess where we're going to be using that S break? You don't think there's going to be another fishing spot here, do you? Because I was so sure there was going to be another fishing spot. Hmm. Maybe on the other side? I mean, there could also just not be one here, and I missed them at other fishing spots. Which means I'll have to use my ground bait, which is kind of a shame, because I only have like 30 of them or something like that. It's like 23 or something. Than ever. Good job, Emma! Rev that. Ooh, money! I need it. I mean, I don't know if I actually need it. I would love to buy those accessories that are overpowered as all hell. Uh, well, okay. Not buy. I would like to make those accessories, but I oh, still need to purchase some stuff really to do nice. that. Action three? Okay. Where's my action three? There it is. No fishing? Oh, okay. That's sad. <laughs> Uh, that, that is sad. I mean, I get it. There's already a fishing spot on this map, but at the same time, that's bullcrap game, and I was looking forward to a new fishing spot. Unless there are other places I haven't been yet. Well, okay, I mean, the villa oh, we're going to is a place we haven't been to There's yet. There's a treasure chest here. But, I don't know. I'll handle it. No, no, you won't. Ooh, there's a guided. Termination slash. All right, I'm in. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, Reed! Okay, it's safe for now. Imagine if you were in your Super Saiyan form. <laughs> we can do that. I mean just oh, we can do that. No, we can do that. <laughs> I did it. What do we get for this? 80s. Huh. I heard that was a good game. Never played it. Maybe someday down the line I will. Um, let's see what that does. 80s. Uh, first offensive art using battle deals double the damage. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's only five less. Yeah, that's, it's like domination, but for casting. So that's fine. And we've already been down there. So we don't need to go there anymore. Huh. Is there no one else we Where could possibly go? go? S 
so we're gonna go here because we need to find that dude. Leave it to me. Huh. I mean, I guess I could throw some uh, ground bait into the thing and because I have like 23 of them, I, I have enough. Actually, I, I, I probably have more than that. Where is it? Ground bait. Oh no, no I have 23. So that's that's pretty good. Hi. Excuse me, Father, but can I ask you a question? Has the traveling police, priest visited the church recently? He did, indeed. In fact, he even made it to to a point to visit everyone affected by the assault. Man, you guys all look the same, huh? Y'all have the Z for the first name there. The fact that the priest was from the holy city of Otero came all the way to the visit was rather motivating for all of us. I see. Huh, seems like he made it here safely. There probably wasn't any point of worrying when he was just as a quick train ride away. I don't see him here, though. Well, he mentioned that he wanted to see more of the war's impact on the country firsthand. I imagine he probably is heading for his next station by now. R really? Huh, that is somewhat worrisome. Can't imagine the trains will be running as scheduled with the Battle of the Heimdall beginning at noon. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. Also, you didn't hear anything about that, you know, father. Did he tell you where he was going? I'd like to check up on him if I can. I believe the next station is destination in Berehard. Okay, that's easy to get to. So let's go do that. Now, there's probably some hidden quests around here. I'll probably find those after we do, uh, where do you want to this go? and the kill quests. Full speed ahead. We also gotta go snowboarding at, uh, Ymir. Up here. Oh, yeah, you look different. I don't see anyone who fits the bill of a traveling priest, but let's ask just to be sure. Excuse me, did a traveling priest happen to stop by here recently? He certainly did. Hey, you don't have a Z for a name either. He wasted no time in asking for details about the cruise in Providence's current state, too. Uh, I've already, I'm, I'm relieved to hear that he arrived safely. I guess we shouldn't have worried in the first place. Did you have some business with him, per perchance? I'm not particularly fond of his kind. They have way far too much leeway. Traveling or not, he is a priest. He is expected to uphold the order of the church and conduct himself as a man of the cloth. Wasn't expecting that. Sound like there's no love lost between them. Traveling priests don't appear to behave all that differently from regular ones, as far as I can tell. Uh, do you know where he is now? He mentioned something about wanting to get a better grasp on the effects of this war. Not again. He's left again, then. This certainly is a surprise. He's certainly making his way around quickly. That just makes me all the more suspicious. Would you happen to know where his next destination was? He said he was heading for the Glaram. Much like the here, he wishes to visit the church there. Uh, thank you for the information. So, uh, let's get going. And visit Legram then. Where do you want to go? Then we're gonna go to Both Well, if this ahead. is the end. I'm assuming it's gonna end soon. Please. And then we're gonna go on our kill quest. There might even be a have these always been here? Huh. Interesting. Hey, where is this priest? And please tell me this is the end of the quest. Well, if it's, oh, you don't have a Z for name either. Well, isn't this a surprise? What can I do for you guys? Sorry to bother you, Father, but we have a, something urgent to ask you. Is there an old traveling priest here? Because we've been going back and forth. Traveling priest? You mean that old dude who was a chair just a while ago? Uh, maybe? Uh, he was built for an old man, believe me, believe you me. Nice as a pie, though. Would have loved to chat with him more if I had the time. Being a traveling priest must be pretty tough, uh, rough right now with everything going on, though. You're telling me. Well, it's good to know he's still alright, at the very least. Not that any of this makes sense. What does make sense? Traveling from Tristan to Legram takes five hours, even with, without any breaks. This priest somehow manages to not only get here faster than that, but he also but also makes stops at Seldic and Berehard? How? That's true. No, under no, normal circumstances, he'd just be arriving here now, even if he's boarded a train early this morning. Um, Father, do you know, happen to know where he is now? He said he had something to do over in Ruhr, Ruhr's Cathedral, actually. God damn it! I figured he's probably already there. Ruhr? Take more than a half a day to get there, even without military strife. I can get more worried about him with each church we visit. 
You, you don't think that he could already be there? It sounds the same, but I want to make sure. Let's head over the ruler. My god. I like how the priest is like, ah, cool. See ya. This has Where to be the last one. Where the hell's Ruhr? There it is. Full speed ahead. This has to be the last one. There's no way this is gonna keep going. <laughs> this better be the last one. Oh, you son of a bitch. Welcome to Ruhr Cathedral. We'll be starting mass soon. You're all more than welcome to attend, of course. Uh, thanks, Father. But no, we're heathens. Actually, there's something we needed to ask you. Uh, I think I know who you might be referring to. Indeed, a traveling priest did pass this way not too long ago. What? You gotta be kidding me! There has to be some kind of trick to this. Besides, traveling priest. Besides, traveling priest or not, I doubt he needs to be more be on the move this much. Anyway, assuming he already left, you wouldn't have to know where his next destination was, would you? He mentioned he was headed for the chapel in your mayor. Said there was something he needed to look into. You just missed him, in fact. We did. Well, in that case, with your mayor being three hours away, there's no way he could get there before us, right? Well, I'm curious. All right, let's set court for your mayor. I was heading there anyways, because there's a kill quest there. Now, if the priest isn't here, we're just going to do the kill quest, because it's right around the corner. Maybe I'll step in the hot spring as well. Yeah. Soak my tootsies. That's right. Work off all the stress. Give me that CP. Good enough. Thank you. The church is right there. He's not going to be here. He's not gonna be here. He's not gonna be here. Is something the matter, Reen? You look awfully flustered. I have something urgent I need to ask you. Has a traveling priest been here? A uh, traveling priest? Ah, now it all makes sense. What does? Oh, you've been chasing after this priest for quite a while, haven't you? Always puzzled why you couldn't catch up to him, right? And now you're here. Convinced that you would be able to arrive before him. Oh dear. He arrived here before us, didn't he? That he did, I'm afraid. We were enjoying some tea together not that long ago. We were talking about all of you, in fact. It just so happens that the traveling police is an, priest is an old friend of mine. He is? That's surprising. Whoever this priest is, he doesn't sound like your average clergyman. Though, Father Bernard always did strike me as someone who well-connected. If So if anyone might know him... Regardless, he left a letter in my care. It addressed to all of you. Here you are. Greetings, students of Class 7. Yeah, my apologies for not taking the time to speak to you after you've come all this way in pursuit of me. I did very much enjoy your little game, however. While I may not have been able to catch up in the end, that courageous viewer is quite an impressive ship. I hope you'll make good use of it in the future. I also hear that you're working to improve the lives of this country's people and better the current situation. An honorable goal, if I may say so. Uh, this is an old nation, but change is always possible. With youngsters like you all striving for to improve it, it may have a bright future indeed. Regardless, I will now be departing for Western Erebonia. These are dangerous times and I have duties as a clergyman to fulfill, and fulfill them I shall! Good luck to all of you in the future, uh, wherever you are, uh, wherever you travels may lead. Barkhorn, the Traveling Priest. P.S. While it's not my intention, it seems I have caused a lot of concern for poor Father Polio. Please do your... Oh my god, you're gonna make me go all the way back to Trista? I also seem to have wasted quite a lot of your time by m m making you pursue me from place to place. It's not much, but please accept this attached as an apology. Quartz, okay. Sure. Seriously? He knew that we were what we were doing this whole time? He's definitely no ordinary priest. I do remember hearing one uh, particularly strong old man uh, among the traveling priests in the Septon Church. I wonder if he goes by the name of Roaring Lion. I've heard that before, haven't I? The name Barkhorn doesn't sound too familiar. Still, he managed to outrun us every single... Roaring Lion sounds very familiar, though. When he's using a high-speed airship? Was he using a high-speed airship or something? Why would a traveling priest have access to something like that, though? Do they use them as... Yes. Come to think of it. 
How don't you know, but the church is a fairly complex organization with plenty of division, diversion, uh, divisions within it. The part I was invited to join was an organization called the Congregation, uh, Congregation, of, the Congregation of the Sacraments. They're a group of immensely skilled people who take on unique missions, to put it mildly. Should go check on her, too. Nah, no, can't be. Regardless, trust me when I say you needn't worry about him. And if you would, please pass on the news to the well, uh, of his well-being to Father Paulo and Trista. God damn it, I don't wanna. Like, can we just do that automatically? Do not send me back to Trista, though. You son of a bitch! I see. I, I suppose my worries were all for naught in the end. Well, that was a relief. I feel terrible about the lengthy chore I've given you. It really wasn't that bad. It was kind of a learning experience. I never knew there were traveling priests who operated on this guy's level until now. The church must be really worried about this war if they're sending men like him to Erebonia. I should say so, though I can't pretend to have much knowledge of matters higher up in the church. Perhaps they concluded that Erebonia getting any more chaotic would destabilize the whole of Western Zermeria. A risk like that has nothing to celebrate, but I must admit that I find the presence of men like him in this region encouraging. As a fellow man of the cloth, I have a few new standard of measures, uh, new standards to measure up to, and I hope that the aid I can offer people is on par. Can you just give me my reward, please? Because I need to go back to Ymir and kill a monster and ride a snowboard. Oh, right, we already got our reward. God damn it. Uh, that's pretty good defense. Quartz, if I do say so myself. Turns courageous. Let's go. Where do you want to go? To Ymir. Full speed ahead. And let's go snowboarding. Because why not? Uh, you can now play A3 and B4. Or A4 and B4. So, let's do... Both of them, because why not? We'll start with B. A's jump, right? Good music. Ha! No! Well, I need to start over. Retry. How do I turn like that, though? I do that. Ha! Whatever, it's fine. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. I miss this music. We kind of missed snowboarding last time because I, well, forgot to check. Are we going to be able to do this in time? I do kind of wish they gave you more snowboards to choose from that were really good. Or it's going to be close. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the closest one we've gotten. I did it! Uh, we'll finish. Lower difficulty, yeah. Incredible. I can't think of a word more fitting than for how well you did there. Well, here's your prize. Go ahead and take it. Uh, Skanta Gem. I'll be sure to keep the... Yeah, you do that. Uh, Skanta Gem. Skanta... Fanta? Chrono Drive... Jesus Christ. Excuse me? Plus 15 speed? Yeah? Here you go. We should probably give you this one as well. Make her even faster and give her all the chrono stuff. Uh, snowboard, A course, level four. Was B harder? Less time. I don't know. I figured A would be harder. What is this music? Ow. Not saying it's bad, just I don't know. <laughs> just doesn't seem like it would fit for a, a snowboarding thing. 
Well, maybe it fits more than the other one. The other one was like epic battle music. Oh, I saw you. I saw you! Gotcha! Don't want to miss any now. It's going to be another close one. But we are good. It's not as close as the last one, actually. I did it! Maybe B course was supposedly harder. Wow, I'm impressed, Reen. I wasn't expecting you to be able to handle a course that difficult. Well, here's your prize. Go ahead, take it. A passionate rouge! Frankly, I'm beyond words at this point. You successfully cleared every single course I've made. You're one of the pros now, Reen. Haha, <laughs> you think? I had a lot of fun trying them all out. Glad to hear it. I'll leave this the way to the slopes open for you for any time. You might have cleared every course, but it can't hurt to try and improve your time. Oh, thanks, I'll never be here again. Uh, Passion Rouge... Can replace your pat brave heart because it gives you a hundred, right? Oh, absolutely. Now, where the hell's this quest? We're at least finishing. Well, okay, we already finished one side quest. It was absentee father. Uh, deepest area in the deepest, darkest areas of Ymir sleeps a horrible creature. Probably not that bad, though. Annabelle! How's it going, girl? Oh, Sorry, I did not mean to decapitate you. I can't stop thinking about the radiant glow. I can't wait to sink my teeth into its beautiful body. Yeah? Hey there, Annabelle. Did you see some sort of rare fish in the water? Oh, good day, Reen. Actually, yes, not long ago, I saw a giant shadow of a fish swimming through the stream here. A giant shadow? You don't think it could be the mere guardian, do you? You know of it? Well, you grew up around here, so I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, you'll hear about the sightings around here on occasion. I even saw it once back when I was a kid. Really? You must be as curious as I am, then, aren't you? I would be if I were in your shoes. <laughs> but I'm afraid the legendary mere guardian ends here, for I shall be the one to reel it in for good. You're gonna catch it? <laughs> I certainly am, and if you don't if you don't want me catching it, you're just gonna have to catch it before me. Neither of us will be able to will be in for an easy time, however. As I'm sure you're well aware, Reen, Ymir's guardian is in a class of its own among the many fish of Erebonia. Unfortunately, I don't think you're up for the challenge just yet. I suggest you try and gain experience by catching more varieties of fish before attempting to take on the guardian. You're probably right. There's no point of trying if I know I can't catch it from the very start. I won't give up completely, though. I just need to polish my skills. What do you mean, though? What do you mean, polish my skills? I have five fishing points here? Oh, that's weird. I thought I used them all. You're not new. That's bullcrap game. Give me a new one. Maybe I'll use some ground bait at Trista to see if I can, uh catch new ones. I didn't catch anything new there, that's for sure. Um, so I'm assuming I'm only missing one fish, right? And the last one will be the Guardian. Yeah? I mean, that sounds fair. I don't know if it is fair, but it sounds fair. Oh, there it is. Yo, you cool looking dog. How's it going? Do I have any cryptids Watch that I have to beat? This is a tough one. I beat three of them. I'm not sure how many there were to begin with. There's gotta be more. Got you. You're tanky. At least you didn't heal. Too slow. Uh, just assist for now. I'm gonna try to break its armor with, uh... Hmm. With, uh... With Lara here, armor breaker. Okay, we did! Good, 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 good. 
Let's it's see, my keep turn. recovery up. Are you weak to anything? You're weak to fire. That's the only fire spell we have. Are you weak to anything else that I have? Earth? Nah, that's gotta be fire. God damn it. So I think, yeah, next up, we burst, then Reen transforms, overdrives, nah, I probably won't actually, I need to make some uh, CP heal, that is a lot of damage, by the way, freaking Laura, I do say so myself, let's see how much this does. Twenty-eight thousand, pretty much. That's not bad. How much health do you have? Not a lot. Uh, yeah. This. Here I go. If I overdrive, I'll get like an extra thirty. Yeah. This restores thirty. Fees next. That's pretty good. I just want to see how strong this goddamn ass break's gonna be. Actually, you know what? My turn. Yeah, she attacks now. It's my turn. Termination slash. Let's see how how well this goes. My blade will clear the grits and light the way. I'm hoping for like at least 90,000. Maybe domination doesn't affect that break. I thought it did. Oh, it's 100? Here I go. Yeah. Oh, I should have waited for the crits! Oh, shit! Why didn't anyone stop me? Well, freaking. What's his face? <laughs> What's his face? Yeah, Emma. She'll probably kill him with her crit spell. Onward. Ah, that would have been beautiful. Yeah, that's fantastic there too. Get double the experience. That's a lot of experience. I did it. Done. Well, that one's done. Oh, Sumerian or shard. Okay, are you gonna give me? Huh? Are you gonna give me like? Oh wait, what? Where the hell are we? Wait a minute. There's a battle. Sh what? The hell's this? Lauren Fee. Yeah? Okay. That rolling rock? Really? I was gonna make a bear joke. To be quite honest, I don't really know anything about bear. But, uh... You know, just make pretend I was funny. Like you always do. Just make pretend I was funny. And then we'll go about our day. It doesn't really look like a rock. It looks like a brain. Slash meatball. You're dead, right? Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Also, lovely damage. She's definitely gonna get the Zamarian weapon then. Yeah? Is that where we... Yeah? That makes sense. Press a mirror... Apparently, I mean, I know this was an old challenge, but still. I'm surprised you guys weren't automatically able to use it, given that you guys have, like, a tense bonding thing last time. Um, Alright, let's uh, turn in these requests. <laughs> Good work, Green! Toa, what are you doing on the screen? <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting me to show up, were you? I can access the computer from my chair. Normally you report to Prince Oliver, but 
seeing as we can't get in contact with him, I'm going to be the other one listening to your reports today. Oh, I see. Well, in that case... Whoa. Wow! That must have been tough. Yeah, no, not really. That should be everything. There's still time left until the operation is uh, to start, so let me know if you have anything else to report. Yeah. Are right, we at, like, what? We got three. Yeah, so you're gonna give me a, a Zamarian shard for each of these? Oh, fantastic. That is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, one of my videos, I can check out some of the content and see what you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.